A few weeks back, I did a video taking a look at a free plugins vocal chain, and afterwards, a bunch of you guys said, please, please, can you make a video using only analog obsession plugins on a vocal chain? So, here you go. Okay, so if you're not familiar, first off, with Analog Obsession plugins, they are available for free or as donationware, and you can pay for what you like. The links for that are below this video. What I can tell you is there's a lot of reviews uh, for Analog Obsession plugins on this channel. I'm a big fan of them. Um, most of them are based on vintage gear, well-known hardware, and then a bunch of them are kind of um, Analog Obsession's own creations too. Um, and so many of them are superb and I'm a big fan of these plugins um, but rarely do I use all of them um, say on a vocal chain for example like I have done today I must say at finishing the point of finishing this video I'm really impressed with the results so much so that it's made me rethink some of the plugins that I go to on my typical vocal chain so let's kick things off with Brit Channel, Neve Style Channel Strip um, some pretty standard moves here, um, boosting a little bit of air up on the high shelf. I've got a little boost at 7.2 uh, and then I've got high pass filter coming into 160, just getting rid of all that low end stuff. And then a smaller cut at 220 just above there as well, just looking for a little bit more clarity to, uh, from our vocal uh, on our channel strip. And of course, dialed in a little bit of gain as well uh, to get some of that uh, nevy goodness. So let's just take a listen to what that's done here's our vocal without let's take it here and now i'll be a prisoner and on i won't be a slave Off. i worked hard for this heart so i won't give it away no love don't come around here to stay so you can really hear that air already from brit channel it's done what i want it to do i'm just cleaning up the vocal i'm getting in the ballpark with a channel strip next up is oss it's a 176 uh, compressor, uh, a vintage compressor, retro compressor, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I think it sounds great on vocals. A lot of people will prefer the 1176 uh, emulations or hardware because I believe it's a, a faster uh, compressor. Um, but I really like the sound uh, of um, OSS. I think it sounds just great. Take a listen. So without. And now I'll be a prisoner. I won't be a slave. And OSS on. And now I won't be a prisoner. I won't be a slave. So I've got it with pretty fast attack and release times. It's grabbing those peaks, but it's also adding some character as well. It's really thickening up the vocal. And now I won't be a prisoner. And off. I won't be a slave. I worked hard for this heart, so I won't give it away. Really nice compressor. Next up, SSQ. The SSL. Uh, EQ um, and what's going on here I've got a cut uh, like a mud cut around 500 in the low mids and I'm pushing it up again just a little nudge of a couple of dB around 6k let's take a listen to that it's a really nice EQ SSQ to work with no love don't come around here to stay and now I won't be a prisoner. Enough. I won't be a slave. So again, just cleaning up, doing some fairly broad moves with our SSL, just getting into shape. And the nice thing about a lot of these plugins is they really encourage you to use your ears. And here's a really good example of one. This is Tupri. Now, is isn't usually a plugin which I reach for, but I put it in place of where I had some saturation and I like it. Check this out. So without. And now I won't be a prisoner. I won't be a slave. And now with. And now I won't be a prisoner. I won't be a slave. I worked hard Without. for this heart, so I won't give it away. It's really adding some fatness to my vocal in a really nice way. It's not adding any mud. And what I've done is I've boosted up the high end of this preamp. And uh, it really does the business on the vocal. And now I won't be a prisoner. And off. I won't be a slave. Very, very cool plugin, which I'm definitely going to be reaching for some more. Want to learn five pro techniques that you can use to improve your mixes right now? And download my free Unlock the Power of the Channel Strip guide below this video. Diesa. And now I won't be a prisoner. I won't be a slave. I worked hard for this heart. 
so I won't give it away. Definitely doing its job. So getting rid of a lot of those S's, which we've really kind of amplified by the moves that we've made with saturation and EQ. This is a really uh, very easy to use um, DSA, uh, and I really like it. Uh, La La, so got to have an LA-2A there, just adding some LA-2A smoothness and character and tone. Take a listen. This is one of my favorite Analog Obsession plugins. And I won't be a prisoner. I won't be a slave. I worked hard and for this heart. So I won't give it away. Back on. No love don't come around here to stay. And I'm really only tickling that needle. One 2 dB of gain reduction. Um, so I am getting some smoothing of the dynamic range. But I really want the character and vibe from this and plugin. And I won't be a prisoner. I won't be a slave. Right, next up. I just noticed that the vocal was sounding just a touch on the thin side, and this isn't maybe an approach that I would usually do, and that's what I think is really cool about a lot of these plugins. It encourages you to maybe sometimes think a little bit differently, and this plugin, Frank, uh, has a fixed mid-range. I think it's at 1.6, I think I'm right in saying. So I thought, well, let's just crank the mid-range and see what happens, and uh, sounds great. Check it out. And I won't be a prisoner. I won't be a slave without Frank. I worked hard for this heart, so I won't give it away. Once again, so without Frank to start. And I won't be a prisoner. And in. I won't be a slave. I worked hard for this heart, so I won't give it away. It's sounding smoother. It's doing something really nice in that mid range. I think it's some of the distortion that's coming through from the saturation, but it's. It's cleaning it up and filling it out at the same time. It just sounds, it's really nice. Um, Frank, I can see on a lot of forums, is really popular, and I can see why it's not an EQ that I've grabbed an awful lot. Um, I should say as well on Frank, I got tempted and had to boost a little bit with the uh, the Neve High Shelf as well, because I just want to show you this. It's how smooth this is. And I, I won't be a prisoner. I won't be a slave. I worked hard for this heart, great. so I won't give it away. No love don't come around here. Really nice EQ, this one. Then finally, what I would usually do with uh, just a stock EQ, I wanted to do a cut somewhere around 2K. It was sounding a bit aggressive uh, to my ears, so I just uh, wanted to do a little cut there. So I've just reached for Max Bax. Um, to make that cut with. Let me just show you what I've done there. And I won't be a prisoner. I won't be a slave. And with it off. And I won't be a prisoner. I won't be a slave. If you just crank up that frequency, you'll uh, be able to hear what and I'm talking about. And I won't be a prisoner. I won't be a slave. I worked hard for this heart, so I won't give it away. No love don't come around. Now I'll be a Finally, a bit of reverb. Um, now, I probably usually drop on some delay as well, but uh, in the absence of that, I'm using um, Room 041. Um, the nice thing about this is as well, uh, it has a bit of preamp drive you can add, so you can add color to your reverb, and it also has an EQ as well, which is um, really handy on your reverb. And now I'll be a prisoner. I won't be a slave. And you can blend all that uh, in with the wet knob. I worked hard for this heart, right. so I won't give it away. So just back it up no the taste. Love don't come around here to stay. Let's take a listen in the mix. And I won't be a prisoner. I won't be a slave. I worked hard for this heart, so I won't give it away. So that's our vocal chain with Analog Obsession plugins. I gotta say, I didn't expect it to turn out quite as great as it has done. I think I preferred the vocal on this than when I originally mixed it. So I'm really, really, I mean, I'm gonna say I'm really impressed with these plugins, but I know these plugins are great anyway. Um, it's just that I wouldn't normally, as I said at the start of this video, think about doing um, a vocal chain solely of analog obsession plugins. And one, it's made me work in a slightly different way, which has been really nice. Uh, it's just freshened up my mindset a little bit and my approach. And two, they sound great. <laughs> so if you're interested in Analog Obsession plugins, there's going to be a link below this video. Hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe, click on the bell so you never miss a video. And I'll see you next time around.